right, guys, I got my Kevin McAllister hat on. Right now, we're going to go inside this Walmart to get some ingredients to make a lovely cheese pizza just for me. Actually, it's not going to be just a cheese pizza, but I do love a lovely cheese pizza. I think I actually have everything I need at home to make the pizza, but there's one special ingredient in here that I need to find. I'm going to take you with me quick, and then we're going to go home and make that lovely cheese pizza. We need some sauce. I think I'm going to try mids this time, actually. Bronies. Ooh, sliced olives. And here they are. Edible Christmas tree ornaments. Yeah, I know they're chocolate, but they're chocolate. I also need some of this extra wide, heavy duty Reynolds wrap. That's what we're gonna use to build our Christmas tree shaped pan. Oh my God, look at these cakes, guys. A Christmas sweater, a Christmas tree, a wreath. Oh man, look at this one. <laughs> that is hilarious. Oh, it's actually made out of cupcakes. That's pretty cool. All right guys, let's get out of here. I am getting hungry for a Christmas tree shaped pizza. First thing I need to do is make a Christmas tree shaped pizza pan. I don't know how this is gonna go, but let's see. Okay, so we are gonna make our Christmas tree pizza. It's gonna be so delicious. I am so hungry right now. Let's get to it. All right, so I'm just using a couple of Martha White pizza crust mixes. I know I'm supposed to be on a low carb diet, but I'm a hungry boy and uh, whatever. <laughs> so we gotta preheat the oven to 475 and we use a half a cup of hot water and a teaspoon of vegetable oil. I'm not even sure I have vegetable oil, but I do have virgin olive oil. Wow, that actually worked really good. I put both of the crust mixes in here and one cup of water and it gave me a nice solid piece of dough in there. Usually it's just a mess, but pretty cool. All right, so I think what I'm gonna do, I don't have any flour, so I gotta get my hands wet to handle this dough. I think what I'm gonna do is, I usually make the pizza dough and then I put the stuff on it and I bake it all at once, but I think in order to make this shape like a Christmas tree, I think I'm gonna have to bake the dough uh, for a few minutes and then take it out and cut it in the shape of a Christmas tree and then put my stuff on and bake it again. Italian seasoning. Okay, so that one's in the oven. Okay, yeah, that's cooked a little bit there. There we go. In fact. There's our Christmas tree pizza crust. Okay, that's back in the oven. Then we got these extra pieces, which are cooked pretty good now. Mm-hmm. That's pretty tasty. Now, when this pizza comes out, 
we're gonna put the special ingredient on. The ornaments. Now, I don't know how this is gonna taste, but we're putting those little chocolate balls on there. Okay, guys, here we go. Well, it's not the best looking Christmas tree pizza in the world, but <laughs> we're gonna give it a taste. Look, we even got the uh, the ornaments on there, the candy chocolate balls. Pepperoni pizza with candy chocolate balls. What the heck? Okay, we're gonna give it a taste here anyway. There we go, we got some nice pepperonis, cheese, sauce, and candy chocolate ornaments on there. Mmm. <laughs> I mean, I can't say I've ever tasted anything like it before. Chocolate on pizza, but it's pretty tasty. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Wash it down with some delicious diet cream soda. All right, guys. Well, I had the idea. I pulled it off. It's still pretty tasty. Pepperoni pizza. Shaped like a Christmas tree with chocolate balls.